He narrowly escaped death time after time on the battlefield, but then he faced a new struggle back home, a fight to receive the medals and the rank he earned. It's a miracle it wouldn't have happened otherwise. I know it wouldn't have happened. Tonight, 8 on your side investigator Walt Buteau gets results. Plus... She was sweet. She had one of the biggest hearts ever. Like, she would do anything for anybody that she loved. On a young mother's birthday, her accused killer appears in court. And don't want the COVID jab? Want to skip all your vaccinations? Some Florida lawmakers want you to have civil rights protections. Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Stephen Nemeth was a teenager who went to war, but his last battle was on paper, and it would take his entire life to win it. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau joining us with details. Keith and Stacy, this is a story that starts with frustration and leads to exhilaration. Stephen Nemeth was barely shaving when he volunteered to fight in Vietnam. He had no idea it would be another 60 years before his rank and bravery would be officially recognized. When the U.S. ramped up Vietnam military involvement in the early 60s, Stephen Nemeth was 18 years old, sent into combat with one of the first waves of Marines. He tells me he never thought he'd make it home alive after daily, deadly battles. How many times did you survive things like that? Seven or eight. Almost died seven or eight times. Nemeth earned these medals during 16 combat missions, but they didn't arrive at his Tampa home until nearly 60 years after he served. What was it like to open this box? And I cried, he cried. Does any of this happen if Channel 8 does not get involved? No, I don't think so. It just is amazing, and we thank you so, so much. During his time in the service, Nemeth lost his rank due to what were called unauthorized absences. But in this letter sent to him three years ago, the military agreed service-related mental issues were connected to his case. But the decision was only on paper with no actual changes, and that's when Nemeth came to aid on your side. Aid on your side spent weeks going back and forth with the military and eventually opened a dialogue with a Marine Corps public information officer. We also reached out to our congressional delegation, including Congressman Gus Bilirakis. Why such a delay for a veteran who served 16 combat missions in Vietnam? No excuse whatsoever, uh, Walt. The good news came just in time when the medals arrived and Nemeth was officially a decorated corporal. Justification for everything. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. And Walt, you, you, are, you are somebody who doesn't give up. We asked what caused the delay, but so far the Marines have not answered that question. Belarakis tells me several federal agencies still claim they are slowed by COVID-19 issues. These workers, particularly the bureaucrats, in the VA, but all over government, need to get back to work. That's why we have these delays, and there's, it's inexcusable, particularly for our veterans. Congressman Dillarakis tells me delays like this are why the GOP is supporting the Pandemic is Over Act and COVID-related executive orders that are set to expire later this year. Well, good for Mr. Nemeth, uh, and we thank him yeah, for his service. Uh, but, I mean, does he have all the medals he's earned? He, he did a lot. He did a lot. I mean, 16 tours yeah. shot at several yeah. times. Uh, he believes he is also qualified for the Silver Star, but according to paperwork he received, that would require a congressional recommendation and statements from two eyewitnesses, and he really believes he's not sure if he has any friends who are still alive that he served with. So we'll wait mm. and see on that one. All right. Thank okay. you, Walt. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline. It's 1-800-338-0808.